So let's start working on some materials here, uh, giving these some materials and see how it goes. And then maybe we'll start working on the landscaping. Uh, but uh, let's first beautify this thing because it looks hideous right now. I'll bring back my reference image here. I wish there was a feature that lets you uh, that lets you have more than one reference image. Like I could have an, another image here, maybe another one here. And that would really make it easier. And I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. It's a solace enable ambient occlusion. Uh, what I like doing with ambient occlusion is boost the distance a bit uh, so that it's more pronounced. You can see the dark corners there are getting darker, but uh, not too much. Something like that. Let's see, increase the trace precision as well. Uh, so, yeah, let's also add, how is it called? Sc screen space reflections. Uh, let's go to the world settings and uh, also add a background for the lighting, environment background. Uh, let's go to textures. I'll just find some good image. Let me use this and see. See, it looks nice. So we can reset the camera to face directly. The uh, can reset the camera to to look here. So maybe it's also a bit down and uh, angled. So around there. I think that's how it should be maybe pulled back a bit, so something like that. I think we can also hide this reference image and uh, turn this light into a sun. A sun. You can increase the intensity maybe by 30. And uh, let's turn on contact shadows. I see when you don't have contact shadows, you see those areas here. They don't look right. Let's see. You can play around with the settings a bit. Uh, so is the softness. You can also turn on soft shadows under shadows here. Soft shadows. And now uh, we can also use the light probe irradiance volume. This even gives you a uh, more better lights, lightings, more better light and also add a reflection cube uh, for the reflections. So without these reflections, uh, if we add a reflection material uh, in the EV render, uh, the reflections will not look very right. Uh, so, but uh, this helps uh, calculate uh, better reflections. So let's uh, do that, and now we can bake the indirect lighting to bake the reflections and uh, bounce lighting and see how that would look okay okay you can see i don't know if you can see the difference but uh it is there uh the light looks a bit softer. Maybe we can add a plane for the ground to catch any shadows. So around there. And I think this is going to be sloping a bit so we can add a loop around there and push it down just a bit like that. I'm not sure what this is. 
so we can delete that we don't need that uh, so to turn because these are getting into the are getting in the way these lines we can go and turn off under overlays we can turn off extras uh, this will let you turn off any ex any lights and everything but uh, keep uh, these navigation buttons uh, if you you can also turn off the extras let me first read them on uh, by just turning off this but uh, that will turn off uh, the navigation buttons here uh, what that I find really useful so what I do I just turn off extras here and see and see so that I can maintain uh, the navigation buttons here I think you can also turn off of some things here so let's see if I bring back the extras you can turn off uh, what a you can turn off the lights oh that that will just also turn off the light I guess but uh, so you can just switch them out off here uh, this will disable them from the view area but uh, the effect their effect will still be uh, there in the scene so that's what I like doing just turning them off from here I'm not going to worry about uh, the backside right now we can come back to that later uh, but uh, yeah so let's begin by giving these two walls a different color so I can select this new material and uh, let me find my textures Let me see. What texture can I use here? Is this bump map? So if I connect this, let me first isolate uh, this mod, this part here. This lower floor. Uh, you can UV unwrap this if you want. Maybe let me do that. So I'll just do a basic UV unwrap uh, to have that. Uh, we need to scale this down a bit so we can try 10 by 10 by 10. Uh, this is just going to give us that bump mapping. It's not really going to contribute to the color map maybe we need to even scale this further so let's try 20 by 20 by 20 it's, re it's showing a lot of repetition this side I don't know if I have any anything seamless Tileable metal scratches, no. I wish there was a, a way to preview these images without. I think that can work as well. Mm. Or we can use uh, this here. Let me see. Uh, this is just wood pranks. Is the leather? Hmm. I think this can work because it's not going to contribute to any color. It's just going to be used as a bump map. Now you can see it has also reduced on the tiling. So maybe you can also increase this by 30, 30, and 30. And uh, use this. Let's see if we use it directly in the normal and switch it off. Doesn't do much. Okay, yeah, it does, but uh, that's not the effect we want. We can just put it directly in the uh, displacement map. Oh, you can we can use is no more. 
uh, because this is the same texture but uh, this is the normal uh, map of this texture so we can just use that as just drag it directly into the normal map now we can remove this in the bulk map let's see if we add convert sorry vector normal map and I increase the strength a bit yes yeah, so the detail is there but uh, yeah but it's really small and uh, it doesn't have to be that uh, that much so I think that's good enough so we can uh, the other thing I want let me bring back my reference image here the other thing I want is uh, ha is to have some ambient occlusion in here so we can add input ambient occlusion and uh, add a mix uh, RGB sh uh, mix RGB color I bring the ambient occlusion to the bottom uh, to the bottom uh, node I feed that into the color base color and see this is how the ambient occlusion looks so it just makes the corners darker corners darker and so this is without the ambient occlusion this is with the ambient occlusion so we need to change this to multiply uh, so that we can multiply uh, this so we can change this to any color we want but uh, the ambient occlusion will be there in the background I think we need to reduce the normal here to something point one uh, because it's when we increase the number it makes our object darker so let's do point, point one and see or we can just use uh, the displacement node instead of the normal map to have more control so I'll disable this connect this and see but that's too much so we need to add a convert math node and change this to multiply uh, this has to go to the bottom value and see uh, that is still too much so we need to reduce this to about 0 0.1 which is still a lot so 0 0.01 yeah we should barely be able to see it so but on close up that detail has to be in so this is going to be white one side is going to be white and then let's reduce uh, let's increase the roughness a bit around there one side is going to be white and the other one is going to be that dark gray so for that because we are using the mirror modifier uh, we need to apply to apply it so that we have control over what material goes on this side so we just select uh, this side and give it a different material so we'll call this white walls and then create a new material and then make sure it's duplicated call this dark walls and assign that to this here now let's go back to rendered mode and uh, turn this give it this color so we can select just select the color directly there and on the surface color uh, the base color which is controlled by this here so you see we have something like that like that so this can also be given be given to this uh, beam here let's first unwrap it a smart uv unwrap give it dark walls 
but uh, they are more darker than this so we can make these black walls make it darker I'll just pick uh, this color here maybe make it dark as well make it even darker you can see on close up you can see that detail that bump map detail and that's what we want so this these are great walls uh, which take up the same material as this so we can use that let's rename these to gray walls now basically we're going to be doing that in the next tutorial I don't want to, this to be too long I want it to be around less than 30 less than 20 minutes so I'll stop uh, this part three here and uh, part four will continue doing this